What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we are going to talk about color schemes and color palettes. And I know for new UI designers or even some experienced UI designers, coming up with color schemes is a difficult thing, making your colors look good and also function well. So I'm going to be showing you uh, a cool plugin called Color Palettes. It's actually really popular. Um, I'm gonna show you how to install it. Uh, over 130,000 installs, so it's, it's a popular plugin. And I'm going to show you also how to use it to rapidly take a design that I've already created. The link is in the YouTube description here. Um, and within a matter of a few minutes, create four or five different uh, designs and color scheme variations, all that work well and adhere to good color contrast guidelines. So as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. All right, everybody, the first thing you wanna do is uh, search for plugins in Figma community, um, type in color palettes, and that is spelled right there. That's how you spell it. I actually was putting two L's, you know, very simple. <laughs> Just click install, it's free. Um, and then we have a new project here. Now I, I'm gonna make this Figma file available uh, for you to download um, or just uh, replicate. Actually, I'm gonna make it available on the Figma community. So um, check the YouTube description for that. And this is gonna be the, um, the design that we're going to apply color to. Now I know it looks pretty ugly right now, but that's the intention, it's just grayscale. Um, so what we're gonna do is, uh, first thing we'll do is just go to right click plugins and we choose color palette. So this is gonna be you know, the point, the very early going in your, um, your, your, your design process where you haven't yet created a color scheme and maybe you, you're not really sure what you wanna come up with. So these are color palettes that have been um, created already based you know, within this uh, plugin. And it's real easy to experiment rapidly with these uh, and you'll see exactly what I mean because we're gonna knock out maybe five or six different uh, designs here with uh, just different colors and it could really just help you know spur creativity and, and ideas uh, and, and perhaps you'll find one you don't even have to edit and it's good right out of the box okay so um, what we'll do is let's say for instance we like um, maybe we like Let's do this one. We're gonna click plus, and what it does is just it adds this right here. We're gonna put it at the top, all right? Then what we could do is we could take um, some of these, This so there's kind of like, two, it's hard to see right now, but there's just get like a two column approach. So we're gonna take, uh, maybe we'll take this one, this color right here, all right? So I'm just hitting um, I on my keyboard so we can get the same color here. Uh, maybe we'll make this one that color. Okay, now that's a little bit too, there's not enough contrast. So one of the things, the, the, the primary thing you're gonna be paying attention to is when you have type elements, do they contrast enough against these colors that you've chosen? All right, I, that's just a universal, you know, applicable rule that you, you really wanna make sure that you have good contrast and readability. Um, this right here would not be a good choice. Uh, it's just too light. So you have a couple options, like say like you really like this color, you don't have to stick to the color palette, you can change it up to your own color. So what you could do, we could take this color right here, make it the same, and then just maybe make it lighter slightly or darker. This is completely fine. You can you know just use this as a starting point, these color palettes. All right, so then maybe we'll take the background here and change this fill uh, to this color. All right, so it's not quite white. Maybe we'll make this one white right here. So you can see there's a slight difference. And there you go, you could completely do that. Now using the same 
I'm gonna take everything and duplicate it over here. Using the same color palette, we could try and experiment in a different way. So we could take this right here and we'll grab this color. All right, so then maybe we could take this color right here. You could completely do this as well. They're really highly contrasting columns right here. Depends if you wanna take that approach. Uh, but all these colors work real well together anyhow. And uh, we still do have good contrast with the type that sits on top. Uh, so that's sort of the, 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 the process. You play and you have fun. Now let's try um, a couple more, a few more of these, just so we can really see how we can drastically change things up here. All right, so what about this one? This is a cool one. It reminds me of like Synthwave, which I'm a big fan of. All right, let's uh, delete that. We'll put this one right here. All right, let's experiment a little bit more. All right, so hit I. Um, this is the darkest color like right here. And even that is kind of eh, a little bit too light. I'd make it maybe just a shade or two darker. All right, um, maybe we could take this. Again, we could take this. And, and one of the ways, by the way, that you could tell if you're, you're lacking contrast or not, uh, there's, there's a variety of tools. Stark uh, contrast is one such tool. So if I select this and this, it's gonna say for large text, this is actually acceptable, this, this color right here, but it's 3.06 to one. So you have to ask yourself, you know, what is considered large text? Uh, it, if my memory serves me correct, yeah, it, it tells you right here. Let me zoom up. Uh, uh, passing color results are accurate only if your font is at least 18.66 pixels in uh, with bold weight or 24 pixels. So our this actually doesn't pass because this is not bold, it's just regular and it's 22 pixels. So if we wanted it to pass, we would bump that up to 24. So just uh, so you could do that, or you could just drop this down a few shades and uh, we're at 3.54, you would eventually have to get to 4.5 uh, to one. So it, it's, it's entirely up to you in terms of how you wanna approach this. Um, for me personally, I might end up just changing this and then maybe just making it slightly darker. And that way we for sure will contrast 7.46 to one. All right, um, next up we could go ahead and then change the canvas background color to one of these colors, maybe to this. And then, yeah. So this is a, another potential color scheme that we've come up with with the help of that tool. So let's, uh, let's try another one. Let's bring up color palettes. I'm not sure what hue palettes is. I have not cha uh, checked that out yet. Let's do a dark one, um, or a real light one rather. Um, and that way it's gonna force us to change the color of the type. So let's say you really want like a nice soft kind of a uh, color palette, a real light one, like this one, all right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, let's do for the top, this color, then we'll take that color and then the canvas background color will be, um, let's do this. Okay, so clearly none of this contrasts well enough at all. So what we could do is we could take um, all the top type here and under here selection colors, uh, we could just change this to black. There we go. Now we certainly have a lot of contrast. Uh, we could even leave this this color right here. It looks like it's almost the same as the one up here. We could try making this blue instead. I personally don't like it because these two colors don't really contrast well. So if you wanted to keep it blue in that context, well, you could change, you can make, make it a little bit darker. That way they contrast a little bit better. That's called color contrast. I. Uh, you could also try maybe just switching it over to and making it white. So, for instance, or not uh, this little yellow, this this yellow color. So that could work as well. And I think that's pretty good enough. I think you get the idea at this point in time. I if you're one of those people who really struggles with with colors and you're just sitting there, I uh, you know with the color picker and you're not where what you know you're not really sure where you need to go. I uh, you know using this plugin. And of course, there's probably many others like it, uh, is a really great starting point for you to start experimenting with color.
Awesome, awesome stuff. So as always, make sure to check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX in an interactive setting. Also, make sure to subscribe here, leave a comment, thumb up, all that good stuff. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.